Hi, welcome to Align with Ariana. I am Ariana, of course, your favorite psychic medium. I am able to go beyond the veil of life and death to connect with spirits that are sometimes nice and sometimes not so much. So I want to welcome you here to my channel. So in this Tell My Story edition, I will be connecting. A lot of you want an update as to what Tim Norman might be going through, as to what the family might be going through, as to allegations that came out about Tim Norman being connected and tied to the murder of his nephew, Andre. Um, now, if many of you don't know by now, this is a story that is connected to Miss Robbie. She's the owner of Sweetie Pies, a national show that is connected with Oprah and the own television. Now, with this story and this tell my story, I did do um, a story about a couple of weeks ago in regards to this, but many of you just want updates because you haven't heard anything. So you kind of just want to know what's going on. So I will be connecting with his energy to see what state that he's in. And I also will be connecting with um, a lot of other energies to make sure I can get the correct or the most accurate information from spirit as to what is going on with the situation in this case. So what I am picking up from spirit in regards to this is that there is going to be, a, there's currently a lot of back and forth that is going on with a couple of deals. So at this point, some people that were included into the process of being accused for this situation is now implicating and there are many contracts that is kind of pretty much just floating around by now. If you don't know, uh, I mentioned before that Andre, when I did connect with him, he mentioned that there was some deals with money laundering. He had the words money laundering. And I did this over weeks ago that he did mention. So feel free to go back and check out my last video in regards to that. But he mentioned that there was some money laundering issues. What I am seeing connected now in the spiritual realm is that um, a lot of things are floating back and forth with Tim's energy. Um, he is actually trying to convince, he's still trying to convince um, his mother and um, his family members that there's no ties or no connections to this. However, I do see that he has not been able to get a lot of rest. He's been sick for a couple of weeks. Um, ever since he went in, he has been having issues with his stomach and some areas or things that's going on with food. So he is um, trying to, um, I see a lot of complaints. I actually see that he possibly could have had some sort of um, disagreement uh, with someone that turned um, into like um kind of like a small argument. I don't want to say that was a big, huge, huge blowout argument because it wasn't, but I see that there was some issues with confrontation as it relates to his bedding or something that happened inside of the jail cell. So he is currently having some issues and some complications in that area. He's also um, under some sort of, um, I don't know, it, I'm, I'm seeing something as it connects to like a doctor's orders or something. He's trying to do something in regards to a doctor's permission or doctor's orders. Um, in relates to his health. So he is trying to possibly not um, get, he's possibly trying to get out of something because of his health. Um, he's using his health to get out of a situation. It looks like it's connecting to him trying to get bond, you guys, that he is using some sort of health conditioning or some sort of health issue that he has to connect to try to um, forcefully move things or speed things up or allow him to get out to see his son. He's also put in some sort of orders to do so. Now, what I am also seeing is that he is going to do his very best to fight these energies himself. Um, I keep seeing him uh, go Go, go to court and have some sort of representation as a female um, female person representing him but I see him as the main person that is still conducting um, his 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 information he is the one that is behind the scenes that's forcing this information I do see that he's trying to get some sort of testimonies or character testimonies to be added to these so his charges will be lessened or dropped down um, because I see that he's saying that that a lot of this information is is like um, like suspicion suspicion that is nothing that puts 
a, a weapon into his hands or connected with him. So that is why I keep seeing him go back and forth and saying this is all suspicion. This is all suspicion. I am getting from the guys that he is fighting this very hard. That he is 100% trying to convince and have like some sort of connection of not um, saying that he's connected to this whatsoever. He's also mentioning that someone could have set him up. He has had stories that someone set him up and then the phones were not in his name because he wasn't running his business at the time so he's going to try to implement or implicate someone else that was running his business during the time is this okay you guys this is deep this is deep okay so he is trying I don't know how or why this is coming up but Bruce did come up and I know many of you watch the show and many of you have questions in regards to that name so Bruce did come up in this uh, connecting with him through spirit. So I don't know if he's trying to use his name to um, to like say that he was the one that responsible was responsible for his monies or his tides or things that happen as it relates to the phone service or phones. Um, that's connected with him because I keep seeing him point to a phone and he, he keeps doing this. Um, so it, it seems as though if he's going to try to try to use that as escape or a way to get out that he did not have connections to his phones. And then someone else was using phones and putting things in his name because he runs a business. It's no way that he was going to be able to be there. Um, in the place during that situation. It's no way that he knows all of these situations that's going on. It's a lot of different allegations that's being forth, but this is what I hear him saying is that it's no way that I could do this because I have a lot of businesses. I I can't keep my hands on what's going in and out. Someone must have did this to me to make it seem as though um, I did it. Now, his response in relation to the legal life policies, the insurance or monies or tithes, he's um, what I keep seeing the connection of him saying that is that he is he did this quite often because he was in fear of the young boys, black boys dying within his family. So he did this. Um, just to make sure or to cover all ends. I'm not seeing that he's actually even admitting that this was for something else. Now, I want to remind you that we don't know these facts. These are all allegations that's coming forth, but I do see that he is coming up with some heavy um, rebuttals to try to block this information from affecting his life. He's even pulling in like character witnesses or character comments to talk or speak on his character to say that he couldn't be, uh, he couldn't have done this and things like that. Um, and, and all of these connections, but I will see it's very possible that he will bring the name Bruce up. Now, Bruce is connected to him as a friend and I see him throwing that name out. That name might come up very often. So do not be surprised if you hear something come forth in regards to his name, because it's very, very common that um, I keep hearing the name show up and, and it's showing up very, very often. Um, he's also being um, he has a side issue that is going Going on as well like when I say side issue is that he's having some issues where he is being sued as well with um, allegations in regards to some sort of agreement um, some sort of terms of agreement in regards to housing so he is actually battling more than one thing so that is why the case is not moving forward as quickly as it should be there are a lot of things that's going on that's very um, that's detrimental to the family and his character so so he's trying to make sure that he can slow the process down in regards to making sure that he can uh, try to get the best outcome. But I see a lot of this, um, them going back and forth between him and the prosecutors that this, this is being dragged out and they kind of just want to get it over and done with. There are a lot of support that actually a lot of claims, a lot of documents that is going to help support what the prosecutors are seeing against. Um, Tim, this is what I am seeing in the psychic realm. Now, I do have the ability to see past, present, and future, so I will be calling in the cards to see to make sure this is present information, but this is what I am picking up on. I'm also picking up on that he submitted 
um, some sort of paperwork to his mother that he wanted her to to um, to look at or do or something like that. I don't know if he sent her a letter or he had someone submit it on his behalf, but I'm seeing that he sent her some sort of paperwork. Um, also, kind to trying to ease um, the ease her worries or her fears that he does have a connection to it. Now, I will tell you this: what I am connected to with Miss Robbie is that she feels that there was something off. She feels that there was something off, but she doesn't believe 100% that he had something to do with it. She is waiting on something completely solid or hard to prove or to believe that there is connection, but she does know something is off. She knows something was weird. She just can tell in her energy, but she has not put her hands on it. She's also been very quiet and like um, into like a shell, not really speaking a lot with the family because she almost feels like she doesn't know who to trust or she almost feels like um, there is a, there's a possibility that she doesn't want a lot of the information to kind of get out just yet she wants to see all of the cards and everything play out at the moment so that's why I keep saying this now I'm going to call forth her energy in the physical realm I want to call forth first I want to call forth Tim Tim Norman's energy right now in the present what is his current state of mind what is his energy spirit you did already give it to me in the psychic realm but I want to see it right now here in the material in the present in the physical So just like I mentioned before, he is going to do everything possible to try to expand or extend this case out, to try to draw it out, to try to move it out, but there will not be any support to his claims. There will not be any support. I'm also seeing that he took in some agreement. So yes, there is going to be some more information. He is in like solitude or confinement in this mental space. I feel like he had recently, like I mentioned before, spirit brought to me is that he had some sort of issue um, where he had to be put alone by himself. I don't know if he had an issue or some sort of confrontation with someone, but he is also bus like, you know, by himself. He's by himself and he's also doing a period of like um, high emotions, high and low emotions that are going up and down constantly. Um, I also see that is when I say emotions, he's not crying. These are just emotion, emotionless thoughts. These are things that are coming through his mind. A lot of lower level energies that are coming into play. So these are not like emotions as if you would see like crying or empathy. These are emotions that are coming through highs and lows of the mental of mental breaks of mental thoughts. Um, I'm also seeing that um, he is not going to move forward with some plea deal he is going to literally try to drag this thing out um and in in each and every way now i also see that he is very possible that I also see it's very possible that he was considering some sort of um, something was being brought forth to him as far as like a death, but he will not um, do anything as it relates to uh, like taking a plea deal or actually getting um, tried with death because he's he's really fighting this, you guys, tooth and nail. He's fighting it. Um, let's call him Miss Robbie's energy now to see what she might be going through. Okay, Miss Robbie is definitely going through it. Like I mentioned before, she's waiting on that moment of justice. She is waiting for something to be proven hard, fat, cold, hard facts. That's what she's looking for. She's also put a halt on a lot of her businesses at the moment. She's those those things are pretty much kind of running themselves, but she's actually stopped and put a little uh, a halt on that. I'm seeing that she's trying to to make sure, and in the in the process, she could be having some loose in in regards to um, businesses and the names and the tides and the legal ramifications of her business 
So I keep seeing a lot of ends be untied and a lot of ends are loose with that area that she's trying to kind of mend and fix together. Right now, she is not at the mental space and the mental capacity to operate, run, or function as how she was before. Before she loved to travel, she was on the go, but do you? I see this person that completely just stops in, in their track. She feels so much betrayal. That, like I said, she doesn't know who to trust and she's not really trying to move forward with communicating about anything. She doesn't want to give a statement. She doesn't want to take any type of, uh, like, uh, approach um, out in the outs in, to the world in regards to the situation. She's dealing with things inwardly. So it is very important that you guys, that many of us send her prayers, his um, Andre's mother's prayers. Um, a lot of the people surrounding energies are dealing with this 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 inwardly. Now, I will say that Miss Robbie does have um, someone that's supporting her, like a, a close male friend that she's entrusting, and he is actually helping her to get through this time. So this energy is uh, is very a uh, close friend that she's with, um, a male energy, possibly someone she she's um, in a connection with, a relationship with that is helping her get through this time, for sure, one hundred percent. And now I want to bring forth the outcome. Now, many of you want to know the outcome of the situation, outcome of Tim, Norman, and what is going on. So let's call it forth. So, Spirit, I like to call forth the energy of Tim Norman again. And not just Tim Norman, the case, the outcome. What is going to be the outcome in this situation? What is going to be the resort spirit? mentioned before you guys he's going to drag this thing out he's going to drag it out to the point where he cannot drag it out any any longer he is totally committed to this you guys this is a lot of a lot of dark low level energies now when i begin to talk about this you guys know that i i talk about a lot of things spiritual because this is a spiritual moment what is going on what's taking place this is like the separation and the elevation of things that could survive at one point in time in low level energies but we're shifted into the aquarius age and it's a lot of things coming to the light bringing truth to things that were in the dark and i see that this is a lot of dark low level shadow energies and I also see that he's going to take upon like some sort of um, like he's committed to this dark energy. He's committed to the low level, like low, dark, dark energies of not being truthful and not coming forth. Because I do I do see that there's this is this is filled with so many deceit and lies. You you cannot you cannot overlook this energy. There will not be a great outcome. He is totally delusional and he will work very hard to have some sort of truth in his way. And I do see that the outcome will not be in his favor whatsoever. He's spinning his wheels at the moment. But I want to let you guys know this is what I'm picking up in the spiritual realm. So if you would like your own personal reading, please visit www.alignwithariana.com for more details, for more goodies, for more working your magic. Peace. Love. Why do? Bye. If you would like to join me on my vegan journey and lose five pounds in five days, click the link below or join me on my Instagram below.